Bottoms up. <clears throat> A few millennia in, and we're already done for. Doomed from the beginning to repeat the crimes of ignorance. No soul whatsoever. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Special. Unique. Give me a break. Save me from this stupid bullshit. Pretending is for the weak. Life is nothing but theater. Why cling on so tight? Why so desperate to drown in a sinking ship with no destination from the get-go? I've had it. Burn it to the ground. Light it up. Set it ablaze. No more mercy. If memes are the zenith of our intellectual, creative prowess, then life is itself is hell, and breathing becomes a senseless task. Slit my wrist, and let the animals feed upon my flesh. There is no point to any of this. Mayhem shall sweep the land. Entropy must flower on our graves. Bombs shall sing for our transcendence into nothingness. Memes are the cancer of our diseased society, and anime fetishes have revealed how disgustingly easy we have concealed in favor of cheap frills and cheaper laughs, dad jokes, and fig boys beyond repugnant decadence on the scene out of fear for a would-be culture that takes no prisoners to deny ourselves the truth of just how alone we really are. Hope, you say? Optimism? Give life a chance? Please. Nothing but nonsense sprinkled on the loins of the simple-minded for a good night's sleep for the brainless, where worries are indistinguishable from common nightmares. So, no more sugarcoating. No more fakery. Let it all come crashing down on our weary heads, for it is what we truly deserve, if we're honest. Guillotines for weary voters. Feed them to the sharks. Set loose the hounds upon their countless transgressions against decency and common sense. Beauty has been raped on account of their decadence in a contest with no winners. Some chump crucified on a cross for my alleged sins, blood of the lamb on my hands. What of TikTok, what of TikTok and hentai aficionados? What of furries and online challenges involving twerking on corpses while snorting cinnamon for clout? What kind of god would allow such creatures to exist? And furthermore, what kind of de deity would permit us to be spawned in the first place out of the primordial mud of if we keep fucking around for shits and, gig and giggles? Gibberish for the masses, the great unwashed, the profane. Redemption? Ha! Ah, laughable. There is a madness here so profound that it could destroy monsters if unleashed en masse. The name of the game being stupidity, perfected to an art form. By bacteria with too much arrogance for their own good. If people found out 
how the world really works and what type of malicious scheming goes on behind closed doors. The populace would go mad at the sight of such evil perpetrated right under their noses in broad daylight. Capital punishment is too good for them. Throw them in the volcano, I say. If I were God... Cheat. If I were God, you'd all be eliminated out of principle. But it will be over soon. Our dance is at an end, friends. We just don't know it. Yet. We just don't know it yet. But we will when it starts raining sledgehammers. Blood for blood. Show me the money. Keep your Hollywood hogwash entertainment for yourself and far away from me. Superhero on steroids and leotards. No thanks, Christ. What's left? Lollicons and grown ass men drooling over a show about ponies meant for little girls. Creeps of all creeds jerking off in front of an unsuspecting public when the next season of Japanese animation with suspicious overtones hits the market for mass consumption by, by any cat ear wearing freak if he does if he dares to sell his soul for another absurd bout with dank memes and try not to laugh compilations. A prison for the mind in which all have succumbed to, the, to their primitive urges because hopelessness and helplessness are to be worshipped, of course, in a temple dedicated in the name of the ugly and grotesque. Live it up, partner. We never had a chance. Crush the skulls of the innocent. Random calamities will be our bread and butter until we'll all be vaporized for the sake of good taste. We have outsaid our welcome on this planet and our time here has been pathetic to the point of tears, that is, if you don't have a superb sense of humor. Leave me alone. People are no good, you see. Let the worms and scavengers have a try at nibbling at their putrid remains. You see, George Carlin was right. God, I'm tired. Me? I'm not bothered by, by all of this. No worries burden my bones. Complete extinction. Total decimation. Music to my ears. All shall fall in this empire of ashes. The insects shall perish by the might of their own depravity. A kingdom of half-wits. A republic of murderers. A casino of cheats. Liars. High-functioning dipshits. And soy boy alphas. Overdosing in their iconic gyms while flexing in front of a mirror. Sweet irony. Poetry in motion. Karma winding up for one last brawl in an apocalyptic mindscape. Save your energy, folks. The big one is just around the corner. I don't mind it, though. Not one bit. I've always had a sense of humor. And senseless devastation wreaked upon bozos has always tickled... <clears throat> and titillated me and my need for the lights immaculate in design phoenixes reborn from the muck as stronger wiser mis mischief makers survival as paramount for the universe as dark matter no sir no indeed the end of all things gearing up to settle the score and level the playing field. Good.
It's what we deserve, fella. Why not? Sounds good enough. Let's be more frivolous in our behavior and usher in our annihilation as true edgelords. God would approve, and so do I. Until then, I'll sit back, have a smoke, and maybe a drink. Damn, I'm thirsty. Ta-ta! And may this court bless all of our heinous nightmares. Mad is the only way to be in this demented nursery for the emotionally challenged. Cheshire cats no more. Clowns, buffoons, and gestures, jesters. In an asylum for the deranged, where the craziest person is the sanest by default. And that contradiction, ladies and gentlemen, freakasoids of all ages, should inspire you to napalm your nearest bureaucracy hub out of self-respect. The shameless bastards and their mindless paperwork. Fuck these fuckers. They'll get their just desserts soon enough, as shall we. Blessed be, namaste, and amen. And amen, fucko. We're doomed. And if we aren't, it's what we should hope for. Nonetheless, gunpowder and dynamite will solve all of our problems. Madness is everywhere. And writing is madness at its finest. See ya!